So in short, VR is amazing, but not every project actually might be. We wanted to have a meeting app, and of course we used IK from the start, because we just think it, it adds more interactions. As we mentioned before, the, the main way to allow physics-based interaction is because proprioception is not perfectly precise. You can really play with it a lot, extend, the, your brain will try at least to make sense of it as much as it can. And we had it, as you see in the beginning, in mind that it's very easy to select and use things but when we gave it to the users, we saw very heavily that they were completely confused how that UI worked. Yeah, we, we, we basically decided to drop it. Make things automatic and basically guess the intent of the user to make it as seamless as possible for them. Even if it's a lot of work for you, it will be much more pleasant for the user. And iterate, test, kill and repeat. Well, I would rather have machines where I can take part of the lizard put them under a microscope and then get more contextual information based on what I do in a lab, so to speak. Also, use for the zooming and the moving around, use more the hands. Like, you could create a pocket universe and, you know, grab uh, that universe and expand it to zoom in. Instead of having a big screen in front of the cook, he could just maybe uh, willingly showing the UI when he wants it. I mean, it could be, for example, on the wrist, as soon as yeah. it's that movement, it will show up. When he turns again the wrist back, it disappears. I really enjoyed uh, the seminar. I think it was very good explained. Thank you. Yo, thanks.